That's it for this week's episode of intros that have absolutely no meaning. What is going on, everybody? So this, as you can kind of already already see, this is the new studio. Um, I was going to do like a studio tour, but I realized that I don't really have anything that interesting to show. I mean, I'm looking at the camera right now. I have a new monitor, so if you see me glancing up, like I'm looking not at the lens and at the monitor, that's because I cannot get it together and figure out how to look at the lens and not the monitor. So occasionally you might see me do this, and that's just because I'm making sure I'm in frame. I don't know, the camera's locked down. It's not going anywhere. I don't know why it would not be in frame. I got a light. And other than that, I mean, I just, uh, we moved and we moved into a house that has a basement with a wide open, look at this. Space. I've never had space. We were looking at places to move and we checked out this this house that was available for, for rent and, and I took one look at the basement and I went, can I paint? And they went, We'll buy the paint because this this was all like 70s pan. Here, I'll show you a before picture. Yeah, so it was all 70s paneling. It hadn't been touched since the 70s, I imagine. And so the first thing I did when I came down here is I just painted everything black. And then I stole this geometric shape idea from, I think David Dobrik has, has it in his house somewhere too. But I love the idea. And so I was just like, Ooh, I want to do that. I think that'd be a cool backdrop. Then I bought these lights, which are super cool. They can be literally any color. I don't know why they're red and blue now. I just kind of like it. So, but this is it. This is the setup. The piano's the same. I'm the same sort of this microphone is the same, which is the MXL 990. By the way, I get questions about that all the time. Um, I like it. I think it's a decent microphone. So that's what I've been using, but there's no pop filter. <laughs> It's probably so loud. So I don't know, and I'm standing right now because I just, I like the ability to move around if I want to. And yeah, it just makes me feel a little more free. So I can sit here and play and do all kinds of things and make, um, I don't know, make memes, make videos and make tutorials, which is what this video kind of isn't, but sort of is. So I get questions all the time about Hey, how do you come up with the harmony? How do you decide what chords you're gonna put with the melodies that you transcribe? And the good news is, is that this is true whether you're transcribing speech or whether you're just, I don't know, playing a bunch of notes. Deciding what chords to put, I, I mean, it's 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 a never end. There is not, I, I don't know how many ways you could possibly come up with it. You could possibly come up with to put different chords with the same melody, probably a billion. But the point is that it's an extremely flexible process that literally just involves analyzing the different melody notes that you have available to you and figuring out, okay, how can I take these and make something that sounds good? That's step one. And step two might even be, let's make something that sounds like it actually makes sense and connected to each other. Cause I mean, of course you can just literally just play all sorts of different, um, all kinds of different chords, um, even if the melody kind of is all over the place and it just doesn't matter because you can do what you want. But if we're trying to make something that might actually sound like it's, I don't know. Like it goes somewhere and not just, you know, chords dropped into the middle of the abyss, then we can do that as well. So I'm gonna use some principles that, geez, I'm never gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna use some principles that I've talked about before. I made a video a long time ago. I will link it uh, in the description or and or at the end of this video um, called how to fit a note into any chord. Um, oh, geez, I'm already saying that wrong. How to fit any note into a chord in every key. So if you take one single note, basically the idea is that you can make it fit in a chord no matter what key that's in. So if the note is C, it'll fit in a chord in C, D flat, D, E flat, E, etc. So I'm gonna kind of use that principle in that I know that har harmonically things are extremely flexible and I can make notes work for me. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this with actual notes. Now I found a really cool site. I just Googled random note generator and I found this uh, random note picker site built by Brett Pimentel. Shit, I'm gonna get that wrong. No, I kind of didn't get it. Well, I don't know if the pronunciation is right, but I know that Brett Pimentel, Pimentel, Piment, 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 I don't know. Here's the link. So as you can see, it's um, it's basically just a, a very simple interface. Now you can choose how you want the spelling to be. Now, I'm a jazz musician. I come from the jazz world. Sharps don't exist. We just use flats because who cares about enharmonics and proper spelling? I certainly don't. You can choose how many notes you want it to randomize and then you can click randomize. So let's do that now. Boom. Okay. So we have A, B, D, F, C, G, B flat, F. What? 
I just got done saying no sharps. What the f***? Why is there a sharp in my- I don't know how to f***ing play that. I don't know what that says. All right, it's just enough sharp. We'll, we'll, we'll manage. So yeah, A, B, D, F, C. Well, let's- how about we do this? Why don't we play it? That would make more sense. Ooh. Weird. Okay, so let's get to work. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at just kind of what this smell, what the shape of this melody is. We, first thing that we want to look for is the obvious things. It's are the notes outlining any chords right off the bat. So we have. Okay. So what is that? Well, that would be I guess um, like an inversion of B half diminished or B minor seven flat five. For those of you out there who don't think that there's any such thing as half diminished. Which is a thing, I guess. So we have... So if we take any inversion of that, we get this. A, B, D, F. Okay, so what can we do with that? Well, I don't think I want to just use B half diminished because sometimes it's kind of boring just to have the notes outline whatever chord that it is. Um, you know, so you might want to try something different just to sort of change it up or just give it a more interesting sound. So alternatively, what other chords could we look at that these notes are sort of outlining? Well, the first one that comes to mind is some sort of G dominant chord because we literally have three, five, and flat seven from G. Right? Just like that. And then the A works in perfectly because it's just the ninth. So that's a very nice G dominant chord. The other thing is that we don't even have to look at this as like one singular sound. We could look at this as, I mean, pff, we could look at it as every single note gets an individual chord and it can kind of go wherever we want. So let's look at it that way for a second since, I don't know, the B half, G dominant, I'm not really feeling that at the moment. So let's try something else. So why don't we say, okay, A, um, ooh, I got an idea. Let's make it a third. So we're gonna make it a third of F. Okay, and then we go to B. Why don't we stay here on F and use, make it the sharp 11. Dreamy. Where can we go after this? So we're kind of establishing this sort of like dreamy kind of major sound like. Where does that feel like it's going? F if I know. A, B, D, F. A, B, thing I don't like about going to D there, whether it's minor or dominant, is that the melody is the root. And sometimes that really just detracts from the effectiveness of the chord because it's just kind of boring, I guess. I don't know. Not always, but in this case, I kind of think so. So why don't we try to find some somewhere else? Why don't we go to a... We got something. All right, so if I go A, B. The next notes are C to G. Now, So we're gonna stick with that. And we're already kind of in that vicinity because we went one, and then we kind of altered the one. And then we went to the four, right to like a five suspended kind of sound. And then instead of releasing to the one, where you think it's gonna kind of go from the five, we go back down to the four. So we, right, we're holding here, and then, Almost like we're gonna climb, you know, back down towards one. So that's kind of throwing a monkey wrench into the whole progression because we're pretty safely in this sort of uh, this sort of F major sound, and then all of a sudden we come. Which, okay, that might give us a jumping off point because we have one more note here, and it's that F hashtag. Fuck. F sharp, and we got to do something with F sharp, uh, but F sharp here is really the only like 
outlier that's not doesn't really fall into sort of an easy diatonic sort of uh, useful note for us. We can't do shit with it really. So if we're going already sort of out of uh, your standard, uh, the chords that you might expect um, in that F major diatonic sort of sound, well, now we're here. So how do we get how do we get to there? So. kind of like that. That was the first try, but I actually kind of dig that. Let's see. That's kind of neat in a way. We're going flat seven to the tritone, so we're resolving from the tritone. That's bizarre, uh, but also kind of cool. But you know what? We're not going to stop there. We're going to keep investigating, so let's try something else. Oh! Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if we do this right, we could get sort of a chromatic resolution where we're kind of doing, uh, you know, something like that. Uh, but obviously we need to incorporate the notes. And then at the top of the phrase, we have that A that the whole thing started on. So if we go. Now, the good news about this is that the F sharp is the ninth of E, okay? so. We can either make this a major chord, which I'm kind of doing like a an E six nine sound. Nice. But we could also make it dominant. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a, a major seven. It could be flat seven. And in this case, I'm not really getting the feeling that it's making too much of a difference. In fact, I kind of like the non-dominant sound better. My favorite so far is... Oh, and now that I'm hearing that in contrast, I really like... Just climbing right up. Chromatically. Easy, right? You know what? I'm going to stop there because I, I do like it. I like that a lot. So we're going to stick with that. Okay, so let's start back at the beginning. So it's a little wonky just because some of the notes are obviously a little bizarre, but that is the general concept. You can um, you can really just kind of make harmony out of anything. And the thing about the random note picker is that really when I transcribe the notes of speech, it's the same thing, right? Because people speak and the pitches that come out of their mouths are largely random, although I'm not entirely convinced of that, but that's a whole other topic. So this weekend I flew back home to upstate New York, which is where I'm from. Got a chance to hang out with some of my buddies back home and do some playing. Here's a clip of that. <laughs> So we really grew up like learning this music together and, uh, and it's a ton of fun to be able to play with people that just know what you're gonna do. Yeah, and also uh, while I was there, there were some things that I carried around from place to place every time I moved and uh, haven't used them in years, but yet somehow, I don't know, I still hang on to them. So at the uh, opinion of many of you, who voted in my latest poll on my communities page. The general consensus was set things on fire and yeet them out the window. I didn't want to set any buildings on fire, so instead of yeeting it out a window, I built a catapult and set them on fire and, and yeeted them with a catapult. That looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> 